Look into the eyes of this man. Look into them. Does this look like a guy who's going to lose to Vasily Lomachenko? It's not going to happen, guys. Um, as much as I like Vasily Lomachenko, great fighter. Very talented guy. Very fast guy. He's going to lose to Guillermo Regan now. And when he loses to him, Guillermo Regan now is going to stare at the camera with this exact face. And he's going to be looking at you like, what you got to say now? Guillermo Regan now fought every style available in the amateurs. Guillermo Regan now has been in the amateurs since he was a child. And because he's been in the amateurs since he was a child, and because he's fought every style available, he knows how to adapt to every single style. You notice how every time Guillermo Regan fights anybody, he always knows how, how to adapt to their style? It's like he, he always figures them out. Don't matter if the guy's 5'10", don't matter if the guy's 5'6", don't matter if the guy can outbox him, he always is able to adapt to the guy's style. Because he's seen them in the amateurs, he's seen their styles. You get what I'm saying? He's going to be able to adapt to Vasily Lomachenko's style. And this fight's going to go the distance. And uh, he's going to win. And I want to come on in and I want to say I told you. Because the only way you could beat Vasily Lomachenko is if you really knock him out. I mean, excuse me. The only way you could beat Guillermo Regan out is if you really knock him out. But Vasily Lomachenko is not going to be able to land on Regan Dow. He's going to be able to hit him on the side of like his shoulders, tap him on his shoulders with flurries. But the majority of those punches are going to miss Regan Dow. Regan Dow is going to be slipping them. Because Regan Dow is a ninja when it comes to slipping fight uh, punches. Like this guy's amazing at slipping punches. That's something I've always been impressed by. Despite the fact that he's very boring and dull to watch, he is very good at slipping punches. It's you're gonna see the crowd wooing whenever he throws like four or five combinations, like "wah," but really only one out of those five combinations would have landed on Reagan Dow cleanly. But Salem Chingo not a puncher. Um, I've never seen him brutally knock somebody out with just one shot. He's really a combination and a. A guy who throws multiple combinations, punches and bunches to wear his opponent down. You get what I'm saying? So, and you know, Regan now is going to be throwing that jab in his stomach. He's also going to be throwing that jab in his face. You get what I'm saying? So, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting to see how this fight unfolds. What I'm interested in this fight the most is how Vasily Lomachenko approaches this fight. Because I think if you want to beat Regan Dow, I think you got to A, knock him out, or B, move around him. Don't stand in his in his way because he's a counter puncher. He's a sharpshooter counter puncher. He's excellent at counter punching. Every time someone makes a mistake and you stay in front of Regan Dow, this guy makes you pay. I mean, ask poor uh, Nonita Donaire. Donaire was getting countered with beautiful counter punches because Regan Dow had this amazing ability to stay in position. Always staying in position. So when a guy, even when a, so when like he's exchanging with a guy and they're going toe to toe, he's always in position. So every time he counters, 
it's very easy for him to counter and get his punches off and really be effective with his punches because he's not like, you know, all over the place. So when Regan Dow, when Vasily Machiko comes in and throws those combinations and leaps out, he better leap out quick because if he doesn't, Regan Dow is like a ninja. He's like an assassin. He'll catch him with a, with a counter punch. I don't think this fight's going to be as entertaining as some people might think it is because stylistically these guys styles are going to probably match up really badly because they're not aggressive in your face type of hunters they're not like toe-to-toe -to -toe fighters they're really two slicksters a lot of people say, well, Regan not only throws one punch at a time, you know, he's a, but, but the thing is, it's effective. When he throws one punch at a time, he always lands, like 99% of the time he lands. When have you ever seen Regan throw a one punch at a time but miss? You know, he doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. He does not miss. He's really good at, because like I said, since he's always in position, when he throws his, his hand, his counter, he's always in position to catch a guy. Um, and I think you're going to see him catching Vasily Lomachenko. Now, Vasily Lomachenko has a bad habit that uh, he carried, that he, he thinks like, like even when he fought that Miguel Mayorga guy, he was he looked phenomenal in that fight, but he kept uh, engaging with him. And at times he would put his hands low, and because of that, he was getting hit a bit, quite a bit. And if you remember, a lot of people were complaining about that. They were like, "You gotta get your, you gotta fix your defense, Vasily." If he does that against Rigandau, he's gonna be taken apart. He cannot be clowning around against Rigandau. I'm telling you, Rigandau is a master ninja. He's gonna destroy him with counters. Uh, a lot of people say Vasily's too big. I don't think so. Vasily Lomachenko. Wax is a natural started pro at turn pro at 126, so he's really just one weight class above him. And and again, when a lot of people say he's like just bigger, he's bigger and longer than someone like uh, Regan Dow. I've seen Regan Dow in there with guys who were like six foot five. When he fought that Japanese fight, I forgot his name, that Himutama guy, whatever his name was. You know these Japanese fighters that have these really odd names, but yeah, that that Japanese dude he fought, that guy was like five foot eleven, six feet tall. He was way bigger than someone like Vasily Lomachenko. And look at what Reagan now did to him. He fucking destroyed him. He schooled him. Now obviously that guy is nowhere. That Japanese fighter was nowhere as skilled as someone like Vasily Lomachenko. I get it. But still. Size really means nothing to Regan now because he's so skillful. Unless the guy is like so much bigger. Unless it's like Regan now versus someone like uh, a fucking welterweight or something. That's different. Because that, that's a massive size difference. But he's not fighting someone that much bigger than him. Uh, Regan now has been in there with guys much bigger. Regan now is like 5'4", 5'5". Vasily's five foot seven, so he's like about two inches taller. And again, it's not like Vasily uses his physical advantage. Is whenever you ever seen Vasily Mucheko be physical with people, he's not really a physical guy. He's not like a Andre Ward who like goes on the inside and who's physical with his opponents. No, he's not. He's a dude that uh, really just uses his athleticism and his speed and his footwork to beat his opponents. He's not a physical guy, so even if he is physically stronger than Someone like Regan Dow. Even if he is stronger than him. It's not like he's going to take advantage of that. Because he's not. you're not going to see Regan Dow. I mean, Vasily Lomachenko all up in Regan Dow's grill. Trying to like manhandle him and roughhouse him. Because that's just going to only give Regan or Regan Dow the opportunity to, uh, you know, beat him up. Beat the shit out of uh, Vasily Lomachenko with counters. I've always felt Vasily uh, uh, Gamble or Regan Dow was one of the best amateurs very very skillful guy very skillful guy he's like I, I call him a ninja I've always labeled him a ninja I'm, t I'm telling you the way to beat you have to knock him out yeah and I just don't think Vasily has the punching parts to knock him out I may be wrong maybe Vasily Lomachenko cannot box him maybe he can but 
because Regan Dow has seen so many styles, I think he's going to know what to do against someone like Regan, like uh, Vasily Lomachenko. I could almost guarantee you he's going to be going to Vasily Lomachenko's body because Vasily Lomachenko, especially if Vasily Lomachenko's moving, if Vasily Lomachenko's moving, he's going to go to his body. If you look at the Rico Ramos fight, Vasily, with uh, Guillermo Regan Dow a couple of years ago fought a guy by the name of Rico Ramos. Rico Ramos, I believe, was undefeated going into the fight. And if you look at that fight, Rico Ramos... Fights off the back foot. He starts the fight going off the back foot. He tries to outbox Regan Dow. Right? And Regan Dow steps forward behind the jab and he starts throwing bombs to Rico Ramos' body. And then he has them all concentrated on the body shots and then he comes up top and he ends up knocking out Rico Ramos. And Rico Ramos was trying to outbox Guillermo Regan Dow. All right, we're trying to play the counterpuncher. So that tells me right there that Gamma Rigano knows how to deal with guys who try to outbox him. So I don't think it's going to worry when he fights Vasil Lomachenko. And, uh, yeah, I know I'm going to get a bunch of flack for this one because, you know, all these boxers have a bunch of fanboys. And I'm probably going to be labeled a Vasil Lomachenko uh, hater. It's it's just funny how boxing works, you know. I remember I used to like always praise Vasily Lomachenko, and I would be called a Vasily Lomachenko nut hugger. But now, if I pray, if I say that Guillermo Regan now will probably beat him, now I'm gonna be called a hater, right? Uh, that's just the way it is. That's just how the the the. That's just how it is, you know. And yeah, guys. I still have to say, please subscribe, please like the video, please thumb the video up, and McGregor's out guys, wrecked by McGregor, goodbye, I'm out.